right, so here's the problem that we are trying to solve. Most schools love a nice overview of the year on one page showing all the different events, when they're happening, term times, etc. Uh, but usually they are manually entered and they're not linked with a calendar tool. So if you're using Google Calendar, you do have a number of different views. So you can view it by month, you can view it by week or day, or just the line by line agenda. But that doesn't produce a nice formatted, uh, say like a, a page that you want to be printed out. So how can we import that live Google Calendar into a nice template that's gonna automatically update? Well, a solution is using Google Sheets. So here's our Google Sheet, and we've set up this template. Uh, and we wanna import our Google Calendar so that we can manipulate it um, using this template. So the first thing you want to do is add a blank sheet, and that is going to be, let's just call this our uh, Calendar Import. And a really useful add-on uh, that helps you do this is the Sheets to Cal. Uh, you install that uh, add-on and it will appear in your extensions menu. And on this sheet, we go to our extensions menu and we are going to, um, using our Sheets to Cal extension, we're going to import our calendar. Okay, and we can see that we've got a bunch of different calendars that we can import. And this is the the staff calendar with all our school events on it. And I want to clear this sheet and import the calendar. And you can see that it has been quite comprehensive. It's got dates that are all the way back from when the calendar started. So it's just a big data dump, but that's not a problem. Our clever template is gonna sort that out. So the first thing we need to do, uh, make sure this is done correctly, if we look into the, the cell that has the date, we can see that even though it's displaying one, what's stored is actually the date in its proper format. Okay, so you can see that by default we get our normal date formatting here with day, month, year, but we only want to show that very first number of the day um, so we can do that by changing the format. So we select those dates that we want to change. We want a custom date and time. And we're going to delete the year. And we're going to change the day to a day without a leading zero. And apply that to all those dates. And there we get just that first number. Okay, so again, this is a still formatted date in this cell. Okay, now here is where the magic happens. In this cell, we're going to put this custom function. And there's a little bit going on here. So I'll just explain it in detail. So the first bit, the if error, so what that does is if there's nothing looked up in the calendar import tab, it's just going to return a blank cell. So normally by default, if you've got an error, it's got that n slash a hashtag but this just removes that uh, error. And then we're using this join function. So that's gonna mean that if there are multiple events on the same day, it's gonna to join together and be separated each event by a new line. So that's really important that we've got that uh, new line there. And then we get onto the filter function. So it's got the name of the sheet that you imported your calendar into. and in in the column C, if we can look at our original import, it's got the name of the event. Okay. The second part, again, it's that same sheet, the calendar import, and it's got column D. And if you look in column D, that is the date with the start of the event. And then the last bit of it is, is we are looking for uh, sorting through that array and we're looking for whatever is in B2. So there's B2, and remember, that is stored as a fully formatted date. And then when we copy that formula down, it goes through and it picks up all those events.
Now, again, you can set this to be a, a, a live uh, input so that it will update from that existing calendar, or you can just manually run that input as I showed at the beginning. And there you can see that we've got all those events that have come into our template. And again, we can keep them updated if we keep importing that new version of the calendar import. You can obviously format this template however much you want. Uh, make sure it could be printed out A3, for example, or change the size of the text or the different blockings for the different months. Absolutely up to you. But remember the magic of that spreadsheet formula.